Prayer is the only thing, eh? The only weapon that is useful at all times. I know you don't hear these things anymore. In, thank God for your church. You'll be hearing it in church. But on social media, which is everybody's church now, <laughs> the church on social media, I'm laughing. We don't hear those things anymore. They give you fire, you give fire for fire. What does the word say? That a soft answer turns away wrath. Doesn't mean that God is not going to fight though. When you say turn your cheek, it doesn't mean God is not going to fight though. God is just telling you, you walk away from it. He says, you forgive, but I will fight for you. He says, you hold your peace, but I will fight for you. So listen, women, even women who their husbands are cheating on them. I tell them this all the time. They say, hey, I say, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? What? Say, I'm going to go and fight. Say, good. I say, if you go there, then blind your eye. Ah. If they blind your eye, the man go go with the person who blind your eye. You no go see husband again. It's not better you go, JJ, if you even want to go. Go to God. He's the God. Ah, he's the God who fights correctly. There are places God can touch the enemy that you would never dream of. There are times that God will need to correct. There's a book that my husband has been begging me to bring out. Prayers for difficult husbands and the side chicks that will not let them go. <laughs> my husband has been begging me to bring out that book. I said, no, no, no. Those prayers, we're still praying them. Fibroid. It's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. It's a punishment for adultery. Fibroid. The death was almost fainted. Barrenness. It's a punishment. Oh, you don't know. No, please let me, let me clarify because I know Insta blog people. I'm not saying that everybody has five brothers because they cheated you. Because I know Insta blog. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying that their punishments, do you understand? They're punished. They, there's a way for fights. So even your husband can be annoying you. God will just close his business. How do I know? Because if a man does not know how to deal with you with understanding, his prayers will not be answered. Are you seeing the word? The solution is already in the word. So why are you fighting? You jack on today, you jack on tomorrow, he blow you for eye, he blow you for nose, but you're just wounding yourself on nothing. And God is saying, you know what? Just stay calm. I will fight for you. He's the God that fights battles. You don't even, if you know the thing God is saving you from on a daily basis. Uh, do you think it's every human being that is a human being? I uh, know some people, when I say people laughing, some people they didn't do. Do you know they did not day? Some people. You'll be hugging them like this. You don't know. Do you, even Jesus saw it now. Judas. Did you not see Judas follow? Do you know that everywhere Jesus went? He said the son of man had nowhere to lay. He said Judas was with him now. Judas did not lay head to. The times that they were, they almost stoned Jesus. Judas was there now. Judas followed him throughout. But in the last minute when Satan entered, that's when they saw that this one is not among. It's not one of us. So some, sometimes... I think it was 2000 and, 2018. I saw human beings for what they really are. I encountered one demonic hey, human being in my life that I thought was a human being. And so I was crying one day and then the Lord said to me, why are you crying like this? I said, how can people be wicked? He said, why are you talking to me as if it's revelation? He said, go and read the Bible. I am the one that said the heart of man is desperately wicked. So why are you now telling me as if it's news? He said, clean your eyes. I am the only one that can fight this battle. That's why I stand up. Oh. Listen. Prayer. Prayer. Do you know one of the prayers? I have this book. Pray for, okay. I, I came with some books. I always forget to do this. Please. Um, the reason why I carry books about is really because I can't teach everything. Okay. So I brought this book, Waiting for Isaac. It's for any waiting season in your life. A to Z of marriage. Seven questions wise women ask. See, you see me, I'm shouting since morning. Women. Because there are some things you need to know. Some things you need to know. Somebody said, I want to marry you. God help me to remember what I was going to say. Some men say they want to marry you. You have carrying body, carrying body. One of the questions to ask is when? You don't know. Eh? I love you. I want you to be my wife. When? Because as a man grows older, his options increase. As a woman grows older, her options... So you will be in that relationship 10 years. He will not say it's done. And move on. You, the people that can marry you, have reduced, Auntie. You have invested 10 years without dividend. I want to marry you. Why? Of all the many girls that are walking about, why me? 
Go and buy, go and ask the questions there. Who should I marry? Don't marry animals. I've learned new one today. <laughs> Don't marry what? Animals. Kayun. Now, this book I wanted to bring, show you. This book. It's, my, it's a prayer journal. So I wrote scriptures that I've been praying for my husband for years. Now, one of the prayers that I struggled with, but God kept insisting I should pray, I wrote it in this book, is that same scripture that I quoted to you a few minutes ago that talks about if a man does not deal with you with understanding, his prayers will be hindered. So I started praying for my husband. I started praying that God, you will teach my husband to love me so that his prayers will not be hindered. Because if his prayers are hindered, he will affect me still. So he has to learn to deal with me with understanding. So I started praying, God, please teach him. If I do something, let him know what it is. Let him ask. Let him talk. I mean, some of those things may seem like they don't make sense. But instead of nagging, because I can be nagging. Why are you treating me like this? Why are you behaving like that? Why? I said, no, I don't have energy. If I nag and his prayers are he's still in that, he's praying me. So I started praying. I pray. There's nothing I don't pray. <laughs> Everything. If you may fool yourself into thinking that, oh, your husband is a Christian, oh, your husband is a loving man, and see, you will pray that you will drink water from his own well. Because even if he's not chasing women, women are chasing him. Mm. You don't want to agree because, I mean, my husband is a Christian. Whose husband is not Christian? <laughs> Whose husband is not Christian? But the girls out there, are they Christian? <laughs> People don't even understand what's happening there. <laughs> ah, you don't know what's going on. If you know what's going on, you'll be praying. You see, if, and if you want it, nine lock. If you want it, nine lock. He's bringing the spirit of adultery into your home. A spirit that does not leave families. Go and ask any man, any man that is cheating. Find out whether his father did not cheat. Or his grandfather did not cheat. I mean, an infidelity recovery coach. When I talk to them, you see, it's, it's, it's running through families. You see, it not concern me. It concerns you, you know, no. The two shall become... They use your body, they do nonsense. You say it concern you. Concern you. Pray. If you don't know what to pray, go and buy the book. I put scriptures here. Go and pray for your husband. Stop fighting. Stop nagging. Stop doing feminism. It does not work. Prayer. 